Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney. Hope everyone is doing great this week. Today I have two different reviews for you. One is going to be on the Valentine's Day cards from Forge and Tinker for the Disney Nuimos. And the other is going to be on a Loungefly Grail that I received for Christmas, which it, it was a pink a la mode exclusive and it's been on my list for a long time, but it was sold out. So if you're interested in hearing more about either of those things, please keep watching. And if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for more fun videos like this one. All right, guys, so we'll start with the Disney Nuimos. Um, so I had seen these Valentine's Day cards on Forge and Tinker. These are two out of four that they had available when I looked. And I immediately was obviously hooked with the Alice in Wonderland um, Valentine's Day card. And then it was hard to choose from the other ones what would be my second, but I had to go with Winnie the Pooh. Um, I do have a few Winnie the Pooh, Disney Nuimos, all of the ones that are available, Tigger Pooh, um, Piglet, and Eeyore. So I thought this would be a good one to get, but I loved all of the cards that they had and if I had infinite funds, I definitely would have gotten them all. But that's not to say that you shouldn't get them all. Um, they're actually very affordable. I'm just um, trying to be better with my shopping. So I only went for two, but by all means, if you are a Disney New Emos collector and you want all four, I would say go for it. So taking a closer look, here is the Alice card. So this has Alice and the Mad Hatter on it on the front. And because I think it's probably hard to read the text on camera, it says, Mad as a Hatter without you, and Valentine, you are my cup of tea. So, and basically Alice is pouring the Mad Hatter a cup of tea, which I just think is so cute. It looks like a vintage card. It's really, really nice. And I was wondering what this would feel like in person, if it would just be sort of like a piece of paper or something. And it actually has some substance to it, the way that Forge and Tinker made it. So it's definitely not gonna be something that wears super quickly over time or anything like that obviously i'd still be careful and like keep um keep it in a safe place when your new emos are not using it or like holding it um but it is substantial it's a nice like thick plastic behind the card and so i did like that they did it that way rather than making it a paper card that might easily be damaged over time. And then on the back is the magnet so that the Disney New Emos can easily hold it. So really like that. Love the shape of the card too. Um, but just such a fun idea for the Disney New Emos. And if I think some of you who've been following me for a while saw that I did a Disney New Emos video about a box of chocolates from Forge and Tinker, which I got, I think it was last year, but sometimes the years blend together, so maybe it was longer ago. But they did come out with another box of chocolate this year, at least one that has a different front image on it. So um, if you didn't pick up the last one, or if you want one that's a different style, they have that one too. And then here is the Pooh Bear card, same thing with the magnet on the back on a thicker little piece of plastic, not just paper. Um, and I love that Pooh is just enjoying his honey with like bees all around and some hearts. And then the bottom heart says, believe me, Valentine, you're my honey. And I just think that's really super, super cute as well so i am thrilled with them in person they shipped quickly they got here um i think less than a week after i ordered them i don't know it was really quick um so i was really really happy about that i love both of them i think they look cute with 
whatever character you have holding them but I would highly recommend them and they have some other things too for Valentine's Day so I think I believe they have a flower bouquet as well and I would just recommend checking them out because they update their stock pretty frequently and they have a lot of other cool things that are on holiday related so if you don't like Valentine's Day but you're looking for someone that makes great new emos accessories Forge and Tinker is definitely the best when it comes to accessories just what they do is just so well done and it's gonna last too so that's what I like about them a lot so that's my quick review of the Valentine's Day cards from Forge and Tinker. Go check them out. I will leave a link in the description below. And then the second thing I wanted to show you was my Seven Dwarves minecart bag. So this was a pink a la mode exclusive originally. And when I got my snow globe bag from pink a la mode, I was watching videos in the factory when they were showing those and they showed this bag but this bag had already been sold out and it was just when I was getting into lounge flies that were from small shops and I didn't really I had just started following small shops so I never heard about this bag I never saw this bag and then they showed it alongside the snow globe bags but it wasn't available so it was the biggest tease ever because I think that this bag is absolutely gorgeous and in that moment when I first saw it I really wanted it I love everything about the overall coloring of this bag I love the cart front pocket I think that's so beautiful and I just they have so many details in this bag and when I saw it I was in love with it and then when I got it for Christmas which was a total surprise I was just even more in love because in person it does not disappoint so if you're someone that is looking to potentially get it from a seller on a third party market um, or a third party seller I think that just check out the seller and make sure they have good reviews because th this is the way that my husband got it he got it I believe from Mercari and not to say that every seller on there is going to be the same, but if you check out the reviews, there are sellers that still have this in the original plastic with tags on. And it is one of those bags that is worth going to someone to, to find, you know, going the extra mile for because it's really beautiful. But anyway, I can't say enough about it, but let's look at the details a little closer so the front pocket has nice um like debossing where you can feel like in between the boards so i think that's really cool um and it also has just nice shading on it as well i love how detailed they are with the different boards of this mine cart and then it has these individual like buttons all around the edge of the minecart as well which is really nice detail that they didn't have to give us and they gave us wheels they definitely could have left the wheels off and it still would have been cute but i love that they gave us the wheels as well and there's still detailing underneath um, where you can see the track that the cart would go on as well so they really didn't um, slack on any details as far as like the outside of this bag. It is really, really well done and detailed and everywhere you look. Sorry, my cat saying hi. So her name is Elle if you want to say hi back. Um, but then we get to this little zipper pole that's kind of a surprise because it's a little hidden behind the cart. But how cute is this little jewel zipper pole? I love that. Such a nice detail. Again, like something that they didn't have to give us, but it just knocks it out of the park with extra details like that. If you open up the zip pocket, there's definitely a lot of room in here, easy to access. The image doesn't really go far past the top of the pocket. Uh, you do get a peek at the lining, um, but the background image doesn't go all the way down, um, or there's not really a lot of detailing on it all the way down. So 
Um, <clears throat> I know some people look in the front pocket to see what the detailing looks like in there. I wouldn't say this is one where you get like a really added surprise from that, but there's so many details on this, it doesn't matter. So then if you're looking at the top of the bag, there's little jewels all along the top of the bag. It is so, so cute. And you get that little like eye catching detail when you turn the bag because all those little jewels like sparkle. And I love each of the expressions on the Seven Dwarves. So cute. And just the overall coloring it's the type of bag that draws your eye in for so many reasons but then when it draws you in it keeps your attention because there's so many things to look at and even if this was just a print it would be gorgeous but the fact that you've got little stitches and little jewels here is just so so cute and then turning it to the side more detail on the pockets you've got a cart full of jewels and there's like a little sparkle going on here. These are not stitches like the front, but still very, very cute. You do have your side pockets with the lining detail inside them. And then on the back, there's a pile of jewels. Very, very cute. And I just love the overall colors of this bag. Um, I think it's one bag that I could pair with a lot of different looks because it's just got this really nice base that goes with a lot of different things. And um, turning it to the opposite side, oh wait, I, f I got confused because the plaque is actually on the front. I thought it was on the side of the bag when I was going through it, but the plaque is on the front of this bag. So what's nice about that is that you get full detailed pockets on both sides and you don't have the plaque covering it. And I think it, the plaque looks fine where it is on the front of the mine cart. So really cute from every angle <laughs> of this bag. And then I love the lining as well, which sometimes you have a beautiful bag on the outside, but then the lining isn't quite there. This lining is so fun. I love all the jewels and the dwarves and they they give us a little pocket here. It's not a zip pocket, it's just an open pocket, but I do find those useful as well. Here's another peek. Just a really fun lining to finish it off on the inside. And the seller that my husband got the bag from also sold it with the, the wallet. So this is my first lounge fly that I have a matching wallet with and I don't think he could have picked a better one. So really like that they've done sort of what the top of the bag look like on the wallet. So very cute there. And I do put this wallet in other bags as well so I don't just wear it out with my mini backpack and so it's a nice touch and i do get a lot of compliments on it i've been wearing this since christmas and um it's been really fun to take out and about here is the other side which has a cart on it that doesn't have anything showing in it but i would assume this is the same image that they used for the side pocket so they're probably behind the plaque are jewels in that center one but anyway very very cute and then i took some of my <laughs> personal cards out to show you but I had my license in here this has a um, die cut jewel in it which you notice more so when the card is in so it's easy to slide the card in and out and then you get the nice print that you got from the inside lining of the mini backpack and then also with this wallet which is nice I have another two or three lounge fly wallets I think just two but the, the ones that I have don't have this nice zipper pocket where you could put change. And I actually have um, stamps in there right now too, so you don't always have to just put change in there, but it's just nice to have a little zipper closure on there. You can see there's a little a few strings sticking out, which I could probably cut off, but no big deal there. But I love the wallet as well. Very, very cute and just nice to have a matching set. Usually I don't do both, but I think that it's so fun to have both when you are in that matching mood. But yeah, I absolutely love it in person. It definitely um, 
made me thrilled when I opened it up and I was not disappointed at all. There's so many good details, so much more that you can see in person than you would notice in just photos. And it's one of those bags that I, if you're a Snow White fan or you know a Snow White fan, it is going to be top tier Snow White bags. So as you can see, I have a few Snow White bags and I only collect them when I really love them. And this bag just had everything that I was looking for and I was really surprised to receive it. So it was a very nice holiday surprise. So I hope you guys enjoyed those two reviews. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be seeing you real soon with another review. So have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.